So please welcome this week's special guest, Johnny. <laughs> Um, Johnny, what is Johnny to you? Uh, this is Johnny, and we once pretended to be members of Take That to get backstage at a gig. <laughs> right. Johnny's boy band buddy, Anna. How do you know Johnny? This is Johnny, and it's my fault that he had to climb a mountain twice in one day. Right. <laughs> Anna's unhappy hiker. And finally, Lee, your relationship with Johnny. This is Johnny. At school, we both fell victim to Brian Pimento's infamous biscuit con. <laughs> <laughs> so there we have it. David, where would you like to begin? Johnny, what did you do with him? You snuck backstage? Well, we didn't sneak. Yeah. What we did is we convinced an ignorant promoter in the early days of Take That yeah. that we were Take That. <laughs> and we didn't only snuck backstage, we wanted to go on as Take That. Did you, you And go you on? said that you were actually <clears throat> in the band? We said that we were the band. <laughs> we were at a local county show and we decided it would be a good idea. Take That had just released It Only Takes a Minute Girl. So Which is an unusual brag. <laughs> 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 and they were that well known, so they'd book them cheap and we, we decided to just ch chance our arm and pretend that we were them. And which so particular member, cos I'm struggling here to, to think <laughs> who it would be? This was a stroke of genius. Um, Johnny told them that, like, every boy band needs one that's, like, everyone thinks they stand a chance with, and that was me. <laughs> you always need one in the band that you think, yeah, I could. Yeah. <laughs> and, that, and that, Rob, is why we have you. Thank you very much. Um, Thank you. So, so where was this? At a, a big show. A, a big show, that's not very specific. Oh, um, you said it was at a county no, show, no, so I no. show, yeah. Yeah, right. I'm imagining it's it a lot of livestock <laughs> being sold yeah. and displayed. But it, what... it wasn't that far. Right. Because before we were judged on stage, they just judged the best rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> I can totally imagine a kind of event where early in the evening they judge the best rabbit and then take that comes on. <laughs> but just in case not everyone can picture it, can we have some details? It was St Helens. Um, right. What, what right. county is St Helens in? Merseyside. And yet with the Cheshire postcode, sort that out. <laughs> When was, was this, it, it was a big show. It was a big show. Johnny, what happened? Did you get up onto stage? No, what we did <laughs> is we turned up and announced ourselves as Take That. Yes. But there's only two of He you. was better looking yeah. at the time. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, marriage and a, running a pub hadn't ravaged him. <laughs> um, <laughs> and we turned up and just announced that we were Take That. And how far did you get with it? We got backstage. They were running late, so we were going to go on as Take That. <laughs> right. And uh, there was only one guy who, outside of myself who'd seen the video. Yeah. And just as they were about to announce us on, he ran up and, and told us to get out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Who would you like to question next? OK. <laughs> um, first question, Anna, is what Johnny's saying true? <laughs> The fact that you're considering it is bad news for your story. <laughs> but, <laughs> can you remind us of your story? Something about a mountain twice. Yes, it's my fault. He had to climb a mountain twice in one day. Which was the mountain? It's called Cat Bells. <laughs> <laughs> is there, anyone heard of a mountain that. called Cat Bells? It sounded like no. she was trying to say Catmandu and forgot the rest. <laughs> Cat. Bells. Where's... <laughs> in which country? Yeah, where's yeah. Cat Bells? Is this country, my love? It's Is near it? Keswick in, in the yeah, Lake district. Yeah, it's in the district. What was Johnny? Was he, like, with you on a trip? Was he your guide? Or was he, like, an ambulance person? Has it got to be one of the three? <laughs> I'm giving options. OK, well, don't go through them all. We'll be here all day. Was he a fireman? <laughs> was he a postman? <laughs> was he a friend of your cousin or your cousin's friend? <laughs> was he your Uncle Pete or your Uncle Bob or your Auntie Pauline? Or just, you could use another system. Who was he? <laughs> Who was he? <laughs> Who was he? Johnny, uh, Johnny's my friend. Why was he and why were you, and were you going up cat bells? Because it was like an anniversary, friend group anniversary. Leave the children at home, 
get on, get on the bits, but earn the things and do get a bit of bits. Get on the bits and earn the things. <laughs> She's making perfect sense. Get on the bits and earn the things. What do you mean? Have you got a bang on the head? <laughs> get on the bits and earn the things. Isn't it? <laughs> what? So what, what are you talking about? <laughs> Yes, yeah. Lee's question. <laughs> Please answer Lee's question. We're marking um, 25 years of friendship. Right. To earn the night out. This is the exercise that you're doing to justify getting yeah. drunk later. Yeah. And you go up Cat Bells. Yep. Tired, nice view. Go down Cat Bells. Why do you make him go up again? Because I realised that I had lost my phone and presume my phone is at the top. How yeah. long does it take to get up Cat Bells? About two and a half hours. Good Lord. Oh. So I'm having a little, you know, episode, a weep and a cry, and Johnny uh, volunteers to go back up and get it. Right. And is that because Johnny fancies himself as Wolverine? <laughs> <laughs> is, I've not seen those films. Is he a great phone fetcher? Neither have I, but he's very Hugh Jackman, isn't he? Have you not seen that film, David? Yeah. Wolverine phone fetcher? <laughs> <laughs> I think um, it's more that he's a very kind person. And I know a few things about Johnny, so... So yeah. a mixture of goodwill and blackmail. <laughs> yeah, I'm, 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 I'm hasten to add, when Johnny was in my life, in my story, he yeah. was a very generous person. <laughs> <laughs> he always went out of his way to help. Um, in my story, he's an intolerable pillock. <laughs> <laughs> so, so he goes back up to get the phone, then what happens? And then I realise the phone is on my person. <gasps> Johnny came back down, so I was so sorry I couldn't find it. And then I just said, oh, dear and kept hidden that I actually had it. And when did you come clean? <laughs> Last New Year. How did Johnny react when you told him? He was pretty good-natured. He, he likes exercise. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now, what about um, Lee's story? So, Just remind us, Lee, what it is you're trying to convince us of. This is Johnny, and when we were at school, we both felt victim to Brian Pimento's biscuit con. Who is Brian Pimento and what was his biscuit con? Good question. Br Brian Pimento was a kid in our school who was a few years older than me and Johnny. So how old were you at this point? 11 or 12. And what was his biscuit con? Well, he approached us in the playground <laughs> and said, hello, boys, I've hidden a biscuit. Do you want to find it? <laughs> 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 He said that his dad worked for McVitie's for, as a lorry driver. Yes. And that he could get us uh, a whole tin of assorted biscuits each. Ooh. Those big Christmassy ones yeah. with three layers. Mm. And what did you have to do to get these? Well, he said, so if your parents smoke and you can take some cigarettes from them and give them to me, I'll exchange it for two big tins of triple stacked Christmas assorted <laughs> biscuits. How many cigarettes did he require for those biscuits? Five each. That's a good deal. Mm. For who? For, for, I would say for you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, no, David, David yeah. let's talk. <laughs> you stole five and Johnny stole five from his parents? Didn't ask where he got his from. OK. <laughs> you never ask questions with these sort of things. I said to him, where did you get your cigarettes from? And he went. I thought you said you never ask questions with these sorts of things. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what I learned when I said, where did you get the cigarettes from? So this was the next day, you turn... Is it? The no, day... that evening. That evening? Meet us in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> nice and specific. Meet us in the woods tonight and... Dun, dun, dun! And bring your keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> what, what happened? What, what, what happened? He came and we thought he'd be on his own, like he was when he offered us the deal. From the bushes, three lads appeared either side of him. Oh. He took the cigarettes, he said, thank you. And then they all started laughing their heads off at us. Oh, mm -hmm. shame. And said, oh, Lee, there ain't no biscuits, son. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, we need an answer. Is Johnny Johnny's boy band buddy, Anna's unhappy hiker, or Lee's scammed schoolmate? What do you think? I think it's Anna's hiker. I think that's the one that has the biggest ring of truth for me. Lee's story was, you know, fine. But the thing is, you and Johnny are not the same age. <laughs> Don't listen to her, Johnny. She's being very rude to you. <laughs> 
I, I see a lot of myself in Anna, and I would have gone up a mountain for bits. <laughs> so I believe that side of it, and I, I think... So I you think both it's think it's Anna. Anna. What are you thinking, David? We're going to go with Anna. OK. Yeah. Right. So, Johnny, would you please reveal your true identity? I'm Johnny, and Johnny and I pretended to be no! members of Tate now. <laughs> yes, Johnny is Johnny's boy band buddy. Thank you very much, Johnny.